Hey guys, here we are again back in Omaha. We are heading out to go fish a local lake and really hoping to get on some good some uh, good frog fish. I think this lake ought to be good and grassed up at this point. At least it was this time last year, which is the, the, the first year of me being here. So um, that's kind of what I'm going off of. If not, then we'll try to figure out something. We're gonna, we're gonna try to catch them frogging and uh, we may may even punch some mats a little bit too if they're there you know, watch we'll get there there won't even be any mats so um uh we got about a 10 minute drive till we get there so we'll get this boat in the water and uh, when you guys see me again we'll be on the water okay here we are thought it was probably gonna suck uh, because all these wind but the good news is it is pretty grassed up I don't know if I'm gonna get them on a frog but I ought to be able to get them punching I haven't done that since last year so that's always good well we should have going on right about the same time as a bluegill spawn Bluegill spawn and then some bass garden fry. So typically, what that means is you can kind of catch them around these little little points in the points in the mats. With this wind, it makes it a little hard to see if there's actually any fry in here. Might have a bit too heavy of a weight on here too. I can see some bluegill back in the pockets though. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's just grass. There's one. All right. That's number one. Okay, but it counts. So I was on the Gambler Mega Daddy. You see, it's just a big crawl bait. It's got a lot going on with them, with them pinchers though. It's big, it's meaty, so it holds that hook really good. It's really what I like in a, in a good punching rig. Ow! And the hook's kind of sticking out. And this is actually the first time I've ever I've ever used this particular soft plastic. Period. I normally would use a a, a why not a gambler why not in this kind of stuff. It's a, typically just such a good good punching bait. But I uh, thought I'd try this one out. I wanted something that was a little more meaty, a little less subtle, and see uh, see how that worked. It's another, you know, like I tell you guys all the time, it's another Omaha metro metro area lake, so these all get pounded. Oh, didn't get through on that one. Might have to pick up the frog and burn down this stuff and then come back and punch it all. Yeah, let's frog it for a little bit. So typically when I throw a frog, and just not not mats just your typical frogging kind of areas you know skipping docks or just not overly overly grassy thick thick areas you know i i actually like to throw it on a on a 610 um on a 610 frog rod denali lithium frog rod but for this kind of stuff <laughs> oop, that is not exactly where i wanted to go for this kind of stuff, I actually, I'll actually put it on a big flipping stick. I got on a seven and a half foot, or a seven eight rather, flipping stick right now. With 50 pound braid, just to help me move a move a fish that grab, comes up, grabs this frog, and brings it through the grass. Something else I always look for when I'm flipping or frogging the grass is to actually listen. You listen to it. You, you want to look. You want to look and see if you see bluegill or types of bait, but you also want to listen to it and 
listen for them popping noises. That's normally bluegill and brim eating little bugs or things like that out of these little mats. And to be completely honest, I'm not hearing that right now. I just don't know if I'm not in the right area or what. Well, I got a salad fish. Where's he at? Oh, he's a giant. I got a bite in there just a couple minutes ago. I bet it's that little guy right there that did it. I don't know how well you guys can see this tiny little mat. It's not much bigger than my boat. It only sits in a couple feet of water. Oh, there's a couple frogs sitting in there too. It only sits in a couple feet of water. But that's two bites I got out of there, and I believe it's the same fish both times. But that can mean that when it's these little places like this, and it's right, it's at the end of the grass pretty much, it's on a row of stumps, can mean it's a place where you can get a lot of bites at. So along with not hearing those brim pop, bluegill pop on the on these mats, I'm also not seeing like any holes in the mats where it looks like something's came up like a bass has came up and tried to get something through the mat whether it's another person's frog or just something else for it to try to eat and normally that'll tell you that there's fish around here and i, I both by bite, both bites i've had both fish that i've caught have came out of the mats already those are punching so there are obviously fish here so it's looking like they just don't want to come up for a frog which is depressing but I'm going to keep force feeding them it. Force feeding them it. Let's see if I can just make one happen. I don't know why. It's not like you guys are going to be able to see it on a long cast anyways. So, uh, yeah, this is for my benefit, not yours. So eat it, YouTube. Dinker number three. Hope they start getting a little bigger. I mean, this is fun, but Chimon. Number four. Also tiny. Stop it. But I guess if I only got a little bit to be out, these are better than nothing. Number five. Also tiny. Well, ain't none of them been really any better than the other ones. Oh, actually, you know what? That's way worse than the other ones. But I ain't upset. They all count. Just glad we're catching some. You know, like I said, I always, I always like catching them punching. I'd much rather prefer to have bigger ones, the ones that make that braid sing. But these are fun too. Okay guys, that's going to be it for today. I don't know if you can see how dark and gloomy that looks over there. But uh, we're about to get rained on. I'm trying to get out of here before that happens. And then go pick up old baby girl from daycare. Take her to go to the doctor so we can stop her from peeing out of her butt. So... Just the five little ones that you've seen, a little bitty guys, all punching. So that's fun. It's fun. It's something I really like to do. But I really wish we could have got on a little better quality. Wish we had more time too. That's that's the other deal. But um, that Gambler Mega Daddy, first time I ever used it, that was a June bug one. 
and uh, that's that's what got all the bites. I also tried to why not too. I might have had a bite on that, but it was it didn't. If he did, he didn't get it very good. So um, I'll be out here again a few more times. I think before this grass dies off, if it did like last year, and maybe we'll actually get on some frog and fish, and I'll get on a little better quality. So until then, I'll see you guys on the water.